Today we're going to show you five easy tips. <laughs> okay guys, we're at the flea market and I'm going to share five tips easy that tips. I think you should know when it comes to shopping at the flea market. And a couple of them I'm breaking today so you'll get to see firsthand why they're so important. First one is get to the flea market early because if you don't, it'll look like this. It might be empty because of Christmas. Yeah, this is actually an anomaly. <laughs> bring small bills and make sure you bring exact change to get in so you don't have to wait in the long line. There wasn't a long line today, but usually there is. We don't know why there wasn't today. Make sure you bring snacks and water because it's a lot of walking. I brought some dark chocolate and nuts and seeds. Just looking at a sweatshirt. Okay. Cute. Be nice to the vendors. They're sitting out here all day, answering questions all day. So be kind and be respectful, especially when you're haggling with them. So generally, the price they say is like 10 to 20 percent higher than what they'll actually end up taking, or what you know they'll their lowest price is. So if you want to haggle with them, make sure you have the exact change of what you're offering and just be nice and ask them what their best price is. Another tip is to wear a hat because it's really sunny and windy. So make sure it's a hat that has a little. Do we all have hats? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we, we do. do. <laughs> it blew a tarp off and it hit someone's booth and knocked over. Not our hats though. No. Our hats, <laughs> our hats, our hats don't do any damage. Okay, so we're back home now from the flea market and it was so fun, like it always is, just to walk around and look at stuff and hang out with my sister and Steven and Nick, obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did a similar video with pretty much the same tips a couple years ago, but I wanted to remake this one because my old one was a little bit cringe and just not the style of, you know, how I make videos now. So I hope you enjoyed it, even if you saw that old one too. But let me know in the comments below if you guys have visited the flea market recently, what you've picked up, what your favorite find has been. I'd love to know. Nick's working on the Westie by me right now. But I think it's also really important to note that um, whenever you go thrifting or shopping at the flea market or antique stores or whatever, it's important to still be really mindful and not get swept up in deals like, oh my gosh, this is so cheap. But if it's not something you need and not something that you went there for, try to resist because you don't want to fill up your house with a bunch of stuff that you bought just because it was inexpensive, even if it is cool. So keep that in mind. Today I just bought, or we just bought three records and they're all ones that we've been looking for and we're really excited about them. And then my sister bought this really cool rug for like 20 bucks and she's going to hang it up on her wall. So I'm really excited to see what that looks like too. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you'd like to get the behind the scenes of the videos I'm filming or what I'm doing on the daily and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!